All right, we are going to move back into the area of a trapezoid. I decided to do a review of the area of triangle and rectangles because that's pretty much all we're doing with our trapezoids. Um, so if we have a trapezoid, remember that they're opposite sides. They have one pair of parallel sides, meaning they go in the same direction. And then they also have four different sides. So in order to do this, I want to break this into two different shapes. What two shapes do you think we are going to be breaking this down into. All right, so you guessed it. We have our triangle and our rectangle. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna take this and we're gonna just drop it down like this. So now we have one rectangle and two triangles. Now, we already know that this little section right here is two and this height right here is five. We already know that, but now, we have to change our six into something else. If we bring this line down, this right here is also going to be two. So in order to find this missing piece, we need to take two away from six. So what is six minus two? Good, that gives us four. So six minus two equals four. So we have four left to split between the two spots here. If we split four into two, what are we going to get? What is four divided by two? Good, four divided by our two different areas equals two. So this section right here is gonna be two and this section right here is gonna be two. Now we need to find the area of all of our different shapes. So looking at just our triangles, what is the formula for finding the area of a triangle? Good, it is one half times the base times the height. So, going from there, let's look at our triangles that are shaded in green. Alright, so looking at the first one, they're going to be the same area because they both have the same base and the same height of 5 and 2. So, the area is going to be 1 half. What is our base of our triangle? Good, it's 2. What is the height of our triangle? Good, it's 5. So, what is 2 times 5? Good, it's 10. Then we're going to drop it down. What is half of 10 or 10 divided by 2? Good, it's 5. So, each triangle is going to have an area of 5. So, this is 5 and this is 5. Now, moving on to the rectangle part of it, what is the area of a rectangle? Good, it is base times height. For our rectangle up here, we'll shade it in red. What is the base of the rectangle? Good, it's 2. So we're going to plug in 2 for base. What is the height of our rectangle? Good, it is 5. So what is 2 times 5? Good, it is 10. So the area of our rectangle is 10. Now in order to get the total area of everything, we need to add up each of these shapes. So let's take our rectangle, we'll add it to our triangle, and we'll add it to our other triangle. What is 10 plus 5 plus 5? Good, it is 20. So the area of our trapezoid is 20 square units. 